Now, biological control of insect pests. Okay, biological control of insect pests. Using the biological means, okay, using the biological means to control the pest is called as the biological control of insect pests. That may be a predators. Is it clear? Predator are the uh, natural enemies okay, also, okay, which feed on the uh, pests. Organism which feed on the other insects having the body size greater or equal to the insect is called as predators. Now, this includes the ladybird beetle. See here this diagram, this uh, in this photo, ladybird, this feeds on the aphids, okay, this feeds on the aphids. Then the Chrysoperia carnea, okay, Chrysoperia carnea, this one, is it clear? Now, the larvae of the insect, the larvae of the insect uh, feed on all soft bodied insects like aphids, jacids, fight flies, mealybugs, etc. Then the Cryptolamus lemus montroseri, is it clear? This one, is it clear? This insect feeds on mealybugs on grapes. This feeds on mealybugs on the grapes, is it clear? Then there is parasites. You know, parasites are those insects which larvae feed on the another animals, okay? They feed on the another and then they kill their host. They kill their host also. Now, there are different types of parasites are there. Egg parasites, larval parasites, pupil parasites, adult parasites. Is it clear? Now, this is the trichogamma chilonis, okay? Trichogamma chilonis here. Now, See here, this trichogamma chilonis, what it does, it parasites on, okay, it parasites on egg of Helicoverpa armigera. This is Helicoverpa armigerus. Is it clear? So, on this egg that is parasites. Now, the larval parasites, Bracon habitor, okay, Bracon habitor parasites larvae of armigera, okay, pa parasites larvae of Armigera. This is a larvae. On that larvae, it is getting parasited. Is it clear? So that is the uh, Bracon habitor. Pupil parasites. Okay, pupil parasites. The pupae are hosted in the goniopthalamus. Okay, goniopthalamus. Here they are hosted. Okay, the pupae are hosted in this plant. Now, the adult parasites. Okay, adult parasites. That is the Apricanium. Apricania melanoleuca, Apricania melanoleuca, this is the Apricania. This Apricania parasites adults of sugarcane pyrilla. This is the adults of sugarcane pyrilla. This Apricana, okay, this parasites the adults of sugarcane pyrilla. Okay, so here it is what? The parasites, there are different types of parasites here. That is egg parasites, larval parasites, pupil parasites, adult parasites. Pathogens, okay, pathogens, the disease causing agents now. The microorganisms like bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoa and nematodes develop diseases to the pest and thus helps in killing the pests. Okay, pathogens, here we are concerned with the pathogens which are causing diseases to the pests. Okay, diseases to the pests. So, Bacillus thuringiensis is a bacteria, develops disease in the many Lepidopterous pests, okay, many Lepidopterous pests. So, this is the Bacillus thuringiensis, okay, Bacillus thuringiensis that is develops diseases in many Lepidopterous pests. Virus, though there are many reports of the entomopathogenic viruses, that is nuclear polyhydrosis virus, NPV, nuclear polyhydrosis virus and granulosis, okay, and granul. Losses virus are commonly used in insect pest control. See here, this one that is nucleopolyhydroviruses NPV and granulovirus are used in the pest control. Then fungus that is the Metarhysium anisopliae, okay, develops green muscadine disease in silkworms, okay, and in many other organisms. This is the fungal disease to the pests. Then there is a protozoans, Nosema bombysis, okay, Nosema bombysis and Nosema apis, okay, Nosema bombysis develops some of the pebrine diseases in silkworm and the uh, Nosema apis develops a dysentery in the honeybee, is it clear? Okay, 
Now after this biological control, there is a hormonal control. We know the hormones. The hormones are secreted by the endocrine gland, travel towards the site of their action, okay, through the, that, through the blood medium. Is it clear? There are mainly two hormones involved in the pest control. That is one is the ecdysin and another one is the juvenile hormone. Ecdysin and juvenile hormone, these are the two hormones which are involved in the pest control. Ecdysin is secreted from the prothoracic gland. Okay, the ecdysin is secreted from the prothoracic gland, whereas the juvenile hormone secreted from the corpora alata. Now, <clears throat> what happens here? That is the. Uh, it is obvious from the foregoing description that is the ultimate instar larva. Okay, that is the instar larva changes into pupa. The instar larva changes into the pupa in a low quantity, in a low titer of juvenile into adult. Okay, into adult in the absence of this hormone, in the absence of this hormone. Now, what happens if there is a juvenile hormone is provided externally? Okay, if the juvenile hormone is provided externally, the instar larva, okay, the instar larva or the tuopopa will fail to transform into the pupa, will fail to transform into the pupa. Okay, if the juvenile hormone is provided externally or exogenously, Okay, then there is the development of that larva is seized, it will not get transformed into the pupa and later into the adult, is it clear? So that is about the hormonal, so here the two types of hormones are used for the pest control, that is one is the ecdysin and another one is the juvenile hormone, is it clear? Then the objectives of these are that they are highly species specific and so non-targets are spared, okay? Means if there is a group of pests are there, only a particular types will be targeted and the remaining will not get targeted here. So hormonal insecticides are effective in biological, I mean very, very small quantities and therefore they are economic. Is it clear? Since they affect, okay, since they affect more than one aspect of an insect development and physiology, they could be effective against such insects as resistant to the insecticides. Is it clear? So, in this insect pest management, in broad sense, we have discussed the what is pest, okay, what is the uh, need of pest control, is it clear? What are the methods of the pest control? We have discussed about the integrated pest management, okay. Then we have discussed the different types of pest control, that is the natural and applied, is it clear? Then we have discussed the types of natural as well as we have discussed the types of applied methods is it clear integrated pest management where it involves the all the different types of uh, methods to control the pest and together we implement them to control the pest population and as well as make them uh, very difficult in their survival and we check their multiplication also so insect pest management is one of the very crucial need in today's uh, development because at the one place we are yielding more agricultural uh, products and at the same time we have increased our storage capacity also. With all this there is the pests are also uh, emerging out in a large number and varieties. So to control this there is a proper uh, management is needed that is the integrated pest management is to be uh, implemented to control the pests. Thank you. If uh, I hope it is, uh, you have understood completely and in the, my next class we will go for the another one that is the sericulture.